very good morning children today uh, we are going to start a new lesson title a mad tea party lesson number 20 mad tea party and lesson 19 is cancer okay so now we can say we are almost at the end of our syllabus so i'm going to read the lesson you listen to me very very carefully use your earphone and pay attention to the pronunciation, especially the pronunciations, okay? Amat Tea Party There was a table set out under a tree in front of the house and the March Hare and the Hatter were having tea at it. A Dormouse was sitting between them, fast asleep, and the other two were using it as a cushion resting their elbows on it and talking over its head. Very uncomfortable for the Dormouse, thought Alice. Only as it's asleep, I suppose it doesn't mind. The table was a large one, but the three were all crowded together at one corner of the it. No room, no room, they cried out when they saw Alice coming. There's plenty of room, said Alice indignantly, and she sat down in a large armchair at one end of the table. Have some lemonade, the March has said in an encouraging tone. Alice looked all round the table, but there was nothing on it but tea. I don't see any lemonade, she remarked. There isn't any, said the March Hare. Then it wasn't very civil of you to offer it, said Alice angrily. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited, said the March Hare. I didn't know it was your table, said Alice. It's laid for a great many more than three. Your hair wants cutting, said the hatter. He had been looking at Alice for some time with great curiosity, and this was his first speech. You should learn not to make personal remarks, Alice said with some severity. It's very rude. The hatter opened his eyes very wide on hearing this, but all he said was, Why is a raven like a writing desk? Come, we shall have some fun now, thought Alice. I am glad they have begun asking riddles. I believe I can guess that, she added aloud. Do you mean that you think you can find out the answer to it, said the March Hare. Exactly so, said Alice. Then you should say what you mean, the March Hare went on. I do, Alice hastily replied at least at least i mean what i say that's the same thing you know not the same thing a bit said the hatter why you might just as well say that i see what i eat is the same thing as i eat what i see you might just as well say added the march here that i like what i get is the same thing as I get what I like. You might just as well say, added the Dormouse, which seemed to be talking in its sleep, that I breathe when I sleep is the same thing as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same thing with you, said the Hatter, and here the conversation dropped, and the party sat silent for a minute. While Alice thought over all she could remember about ravens and writing decks, which wasn't much. Uh, adopted from Alice Adventure in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Very, she's a very famous writer. Okay. So I have read the lesson once for you, just to get you accounted for pronunciation and all. I want you to read the lesson twice. Okay. It's called comprehension, understanding. I want you to learn the read the lesson twice and do exercise 
B. Exercise A. Question answers are there. If you want to try, it's well and good. If not, I'll definitely give you the question answers. Okay. Now, page 113. You do exercise B. Page 114. You do exercise C and D. Okay. So, you do it very, very carefully. I shall do the correction later on. Thank you.